Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry it's taken me so long to publish another video. I've been living and working here in Dublin, Ireland for just over a month now. Um, so I work like Monday through Friday, nine to five. So when I get off work, I'm like, oh, I wanna go see something. And um, it's, I'm not super used to the city yet and like where is like a good spot to get some nice fit pics and B-roll shots just because it's a really dense city so a lot of the streets are really busy so it's kind of hard to post up my tripod and my camera with people around like me going and standing and like taking a photo of myself it's a little bit awkward uh, i'm sure a lot of my viewers have taken a fit pic of them on their own and it can be a little awkward not gonna lie but I finally have got enough B-roll and fit pic footage for this video and have put these two off and levy pants kind of through the testing phase and everything. So if you've been following me on Instagram recently, uh, first off, I'm much more active on there just because it's easier to be interactive on there than on YouTube in my current context of living. But you've probably seen me wear these two pairs of off and levy pants. The Zari's in dry skin, which are a really nice kind of more straight leg cut and then the I'm gonna butcher this name, but the Aryan cargo pants in Strats Eda proof and so The Zari's have been on my radar for a while now. I've been saving up uh, to get them in custom sizing and when I was communicating with Anvin Levy about the sizing on the Azaris, I, them being one of my favorite brands and me having a YouTube channel, I was like, okay, let me just shoot my shot. And I was like, hey, if you guys ever want any uh, extra promotion in the future on any products or lines or anything, I'm a big fan of the brand, my door is open. And uh, they messaged me back and they're like, oh, we'll see what we can do or anything. And then they surprised me with these, uh, cargo pants in uh, Strats Eda Proof, which is really nice of them. So if anyone is watching uh, from Anton Levy, thank you very much. That's very kind of me to try and do my best job of showcasing them in this video. But these are now my fifth and sixth pair of Anton Levy pants. I bought my first pair back in 2016 and been wearing them for years now. So it's definitely one of my favorite brands. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, review features, styling, and then do a quick like kind of fabric comparison and kind of go over how I did custom sizing and everything. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, let's go, let's do the, let's do the Azari's first. Why not? Anyways, going over the Azari cargo pants first. These are more of a, I'm not gonna say straight cut fit, but it's a little bit wider, a little bit more relaxed cut uh, to the more traditional like tech wear tapered cargo pants. I don't have a pants hanger or my clothing rack, so I'm just gonna kind of be holding it up, but I think I got enough B-roll shot to kind of convey what's going on here. But uh, just going down the features, you have belt loops and then that internal drawstring like with most often levy pants. And you have Cobrax hardware for the button and everything. You have two kind of more unique back pockets, kind of how it's cut, it's angled. Um, and then just two normal hand pockets. Now, where these get really unique are down at the cargo pockets and they are placed very ergonomically on the thighs. It's kind of right in between on the side and on the front of your thigh. So it's really natural where your hand lays. So it's super easy and convenient to access your cargo pockets. And being in Dublin for a while, it does rain here quite a bit. So if I'm not wearing like a shell jack or something, I would just go ahead and stick a packable umbrella in these cargo pockets and it fits really well. If you kind of peel away this fold right here, you'll see the waterproof zipper, but the cargo pockets do have a good carrying capacity and they don't seem like overly bulky either. A very, very useful feature is underneath the cargo pocket, there are two phone pockets, one on each leg, and these are really convenient just for sliding your phone in and it's much more ergonomic than kind of reaching in on the side um, and reaching in your pocket that way. Simple and convenient just to drop your phone in there and actually keeps it really secure as well. But if you do have a larger phone, you could always ask Anfin Levy just to make it a little bit bigger or smaller depending on your phone size. Because again, this is a made to order brand. So really take advantage of that and just, I recommend just paying a little bit extra and getting the custom sizing. Anyways, I'm getting off topic here. And then down at the ankles, 
uh, it, because it's not super taper or anything, there's really no need for a ankle zipper, but there is a little bit of an elastic bit there just to make it a little bit easier slipping over your ankle and your feet and everything. Other than that, the knees are very well articulated and then the crotch is gusseted as well. So you do get a really large range of movement in these pants. And again, these are custom sizing, so they fit just absolutely perfect. So when it comes to styling these, I think if you have a technical wardrobe, or anything that's kind of like future dystopian style. These are really easy to style. Now, as I said before, these do have a little bit more of a straight leg cut. Um, it's a little bit wider at the bottom, so I think uh, having a slightly chunkier shoe does complement these quite nicely. But I have worn these with some slimmer shoes as well, like even my slip-on Vans, I think work well with these, but I think just matching a slightly chunkier shoe just kind of complements the proportions just a little bit better so something like 11 by bbs bomba highs acronym prestos even because they're kind of like chunky shoes honestly air force ones or even i've been wearing some doc martens with these and i think just something a little bit chunkier just matches it but again it's a it's not like too baggy it's not too slim it's very versatile so in this outfit i just have a uniqlo block tech coat uniqlo u crew neck uh, the Azaris and then my Bomba Highs and Gore-Tex. Very simple wearable fit, but I've been wearing these fits a lot in Dublin, you know, just because it does rain here a lot. But here is another fit that I've been wearing with it. Uh, it's a little bit more of a experimental for me. Um, I just have my acronym J44, then underneath that, a wool blazer from a brand called A Kind of Guys. Uh, the Azaris and then just some Doc Martens. And I'm not sure if these are supposed to be like this, but like you can just kind of cuff it once. And uh, it's a way to kind of change up the look of the pants. Um, not sure if it was designed to do that, but I did it. Um, I think in this fit, it doesn't need to be cuffed, but I just, I tried it. Okay, moving on to the Aryans. Again, I'm probably butchering the name so bad, but anyways. Moving on to these guys. These were a really nice surprise from On From Levy. So again, thank you guys for sending this over. These are in the same custom sizing dimensions that I provided them for the Azaris and these both of these fit is absolutely perfect. These do have more of a stronger taper to them. In terms of ankle width, I would say these are in between the Azaris and something like the Amez 2s, which have a much more aggressive taper these are kind of right in between those two i would say but these do have a slight drop crotch to them and some really nice extra room around the crotch and thigh area which is really good because strats eater proof doesn't have any stretch to it so having that extra room does allow for good movement even though the fabric doesn't stretch at all but just like with the azaris you do have an internal drawstring belt loops cobrax hardware uh two just normal rear pockets and then two normal hand pockets where these start to get different are with the cargo pockets these have more of the traditional cargo pocket style with the flap that goes over it uh, and they do have two cobrax snap buttons on each side to access the cargo pocket and these are placed a little bit more on the front of the thighs but still in a very ergonomic position and like with the azaris you have that very handy phone pocket underneath the cargo pockets on both legs and with the gusseted crotch the knees are articulated as well and then going down to the ankles you have waterproof zips that do finish off that taper really nicely however recently i've been leaving it unzipped and then i'll just cuff it one time and it stays up like that and it doesn't bend the zipper too much at all so i think it's okay to do that but when it comes to styling these cargo pants again it's very easy if you have a tentacle or dystopian futuristic style i would say the since these have a slight slimmer taper at the bottom pairing like a slight slimmer shoe just complements these just a little bit more here in this outfit i am wearing these with my danner tachyon sneaker boots and those do have a slimmer profile which i think matches really nicely but even wearing these with something like doc martens or even vans or something they're quite versatile as well it's not like super skinny i would say the often levy mes tubes, which are some of my most worn pants that definitely have a much more aggressive taper so you can, with those you have to be a little bit careful with not wearing shoes that are too chunky but with these i feel like these are a little bit more forgiving 
So anyways, in this fit, I'm just wearing a Uniqlo crew neck. I believe it was a Uniqlo crew neck. I don't know, a crew neck. My acronym J44, a bucket hat from Amazon. I'll leave it linked below because I always get questions about it and I don't ever remember the brand. And then the Aryan cargo pants. So very simple fit here, uh, but again, super easy to wear if you're already into tech wear. Moving on to a very brief fabric comparison between these two technical fabrics. Uh, as you can see, Strat's Eda Proof might seem a little bit more like it has a slight blue undertone to it, depending on the lighting. Uh, and it also has a much more kind of a matte finish to the fabric when compared to dry skin. And dry skin seems to be more of just like a jet black. But both of these pants perform really well in daily wear and even in rainy conditions. Being in Ireland, you know, I've been going on really long walks after work, a lot of times just caught in the rain. Even, I've even sat on like wet benches and everything. And both of these fabrics have performed extremely well in that sense. Both of these have a high degree of weather resistance, durability, and breathability. Now going into the differences between the two, I would say the main difference is that dry skin does have a really nice stretch to it and it tends to be a little bit softer of a fabric as well. Whereas with Eda Proof, it is more of a hard wearing, it feels like a little bit more durable of a fabric, but it does not have any stretch to it. So when it comes to choosing a fabric, it really depends on if you want the stretch. Also something to note, I, I feel like dry skin might do a little bit better year round because it seems to do a little bit better in kind of warmer weather and might be a little bit more breathable. Whereas Eater Proof definitely is more of a kind of hardcore fabric. And so if you're, you know, going hiking a lot and like going through the bushes and everything, maybe Eater Proof might be the way to go for you. But if you're just kind of like walking around the city, just kind of doing daily wear like that, I would probably recommend going with dry skin just because of the stretch and a little bit extra breathability. But you really can't go wrong with either fabric. And I am glad I have both of these in my collection. And by the way, just because I'm saying that this, the dry skin might be a little more comfortable doesn't mean that this is uncomfortable. Like both of them are nice on the skin, just dry skin is a little bit softer. So when it comes to custom sizing with these pants, the dimensions that I sent over to Onfen Levy, very simple. I just laid a pair of pants that I really love the fit of already and that fit me really well. I laid it flat on the floor and I measured the out seam and then the waist in centimeters. I didn't want to mess with the inseam because I didn't know the intricacies of like the drop crotch and the you know gusseted crotch and everything. I didn't want to mess with it. So all I did was send the out seam, which is kind of what matters, and then the waist as well that matters too. I am about 188 centimeters, which is what their model on their website is. So generally I just order what the model wears since I'm the same height and appear to be the same build. So when I ordered my Onf and Levy Amez Tudes, which are some of my most worn pants, I love them wearing them right now. I just got what the model was wearing, which is size medium. And then when I ordered the Sententu pants, the model was wearing a large and I'm like, okay, well, I'll just follow the same guidance and get a large too. Um, and it still fit well, but it's just a little bit of extra room in the waist. So um, I sent over those two dimensions, the out seam and the waist, and then just said, hey, the size medium Amez tubes fit me wonderfully as well. So it could have been a combination of those three factors, but these fit absolutely amazing. And again, I just highly recommend take advantage of the fact that Often Levy is a made to order brand and just pay the little bit extra money to get custom sizing. Trust me, it's worth it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I really love both these pants. If you follow me for a long time, you know Onfen Levy is a brand I really like. Uh, so I always like working with brands that I truly support. And I've every other pair of pants I got from Onfen Levy that other than the Aryan, I paid in full with my own money. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. More videos to come. Uh, leave a comment down below on any videos you'd like to see. I was thinking about just doing a very casual like pickups video or even like a what I packed to study abroad or work abroad or whatever um, video. So anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys.